We're gonna explore Singapore at no cost! some free time on our hands so um, we're gonna explore Singapore at no cost um, I mean of course there's a lot of free things or activities in Singapore that you can do but uh, so we're just gonna try out a few today and we're gonna bring you guys along with us let's go and the first place that we're gonna try out is the sky view at Dawson so it's basically like a free rooftop garden that you can go to and you know view the scenery of Singapore I think this is a really good view and you know if you don't want to pay like $32 at Marina Bay Sands this is perfect for you just to see like a bird's eye view of the country and from here you still get to see a little bit of Marina Bay Sands over there The view is not going to be better than what you see at Marina Bay Sands but um, it's a great alternative at no cost and you know, like why not? There's even like a abandoned water tank here. So cool. And I read online that you know there's like even a cafe or something that we can explore.
this place is that there's a lot of mosquitoes. So we ordered fish and chips. How much was this? This is like ten dollars. Um, looks alright. Let's try it. I like the fish, eh? don't have the frozen taste or the mud taste. So basically this is like a like a garden inside the building. Uh, we are going to the Sky Garden but just take note that um, booking is a must. So you need to go to their website to um, make a booking before you can head up. I think they have like morning slot and afternoon slot. Uh, afternoon slot. So we booked the 2.30 slot and we are just waiting now for our timing. Um, Capital Spring is right smack in the middle of Raffles Place. Very convenient, it's walking distance from either like Tanjong Pagar MRT or like Raffles Place MRT. And it's completely free to go out, uh, either for residents or for like tourists. So it's a very, very nice place. And yeah, show you guys more. Oh my gosh, it is raining. Uh, not sure if you guys can see but it's raining mm, I don't even know if we can go up to the sky garden oh golly so we are here now um, level 51 is unfortunately closed because of the weather and uh, we can only explore level 17 to level 20 so um, it is what it is From level 17 to level 20, it's also really really good. that on Monday, they are only open at 2 p.m. So, we're gonna go check it out. We 
we're trying to register for the tag. It's an interactive exhibition and <clears throat> you can actually use your wristband to unlock more experience. Oh my gosh, cassette tapes. I used to have so many of these. Oh, and this one, Tough Love. I've been caned before, yes. <laughs> Do you think TCM works? Hmm, yes. Yeah. What type of mooncake do you prefer? So this one is the traditional one. This one is the Bing P one. It's the snow skin. So I prefer the baked one, the traditional one. Yay. Is it common to see roadside offerings during Qingming? Yes. Huh? Wait, no? Am I wrong? Huh. This is very typical Singlish. Kiasu. It means to be afraid to lose. This is very interesting. This is like combined. So me is actually like Hokkien. Rubus is actually Malay. And together it's me Rubus. It's actually a noodle dish in Singapore. So this is like um, how we order drinks in Singapore. It's not just coffee or tea. It's very, very, very confusing. Even as a Singaporean right now, I don't even... You can ask my friends, but I'm very, very bad at this. So this one is like... Wait, coffee? This huh? one means like coffee... Wait, coffee... Coffee... Coffee O means what? Is that milk? Wait. The sugar. One eternity later. Uh, I think this one is like coffee with sugar. Oh gosh. I'm gonna win you. Oh. Ready? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Aww. Yes. This is um some of the Singapore local food. First we have Pak Kute, not one of my favorite. It's in the Singapore style because it's very peppery. I prefer the Malaysia style which is more herbal. And then of course the Hainanese chicken rice which I had for lunch. So yes. And then Hokkien Mee. <laughs> so I don't Hokkien Mee, I'm okay with it. Like sometimes I have craving for it but not all the time. So yeah. Yong Tao Fu. Mm. Okay, yeah. Chili crab. Nah, I don't prefer chili crab. I like like steamed crab or raw marinated crab. Indian mee goreng. Yes, yes. 
and Kaya Toast and Nayang Coffee. Yes. Um, Roja. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Laksa. Yes. Popia. Yes. 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 And um, Hainanese curry rice. Ah, uh, nope. Curry puff. Um, I only like curry puff with sardine, so I guess no. Nope. soy sauce to super soft boiled eggs, which soon became an inseparable part of the breakfast equation. Stir it, dip it, and drink it to complete this coffee shop classic. By the 1930s, Yotao food no longer referred to just the stuffed tofu dish. Today, Yo Tao Fu has become a complex dish with countless combinations and endless variations. By blending Malay spices and coconut milk with Chinese noodle soup, laksa has a complex mix of sweet, spicy, and creamy flavors. This is something that you see in Singapore. These are our four official languages. very good especially for kids you know or even like the elderly just for the whole family so come check it out so we're gonna end the vlog here and hopefully you guys enjoy this as much as I enjoy going around exploring different places so you know there are so many free things and activities to do in Singapore and you know leave a comment if you know where else that we can go and explore and we'll definitely include in our future vlogs so yep yeah. See you in my next video!